So how do you find and identify great deals that you can go ahead and purchase and flip for a profit? It starts with all the numbers. Now, how do you know about the numbers here? You got to get in the field and start figuring out what things are going for. So what I always suggest in the beginning, obviously, as you scale out, you could do whatever you want and target whatever areas you want. But in the beginning, I say start small and go with areas that people are already investing in. Now, when I say start small, this is not to limit yourself throughout your career. It just is a way for you to go ahead and get in the game, tackle a couple tiny deals, build your confidence, and then jump into bigger deals with bigger profits. So where do we start? Go where the investors are already at. Arizona is a hot, hot marketplace. Florida is a hot marketplace. Go on sites like Landwatch, Land Century, platforms like that, and just start looking at numbers, analyzing numbers. Don't overthink this. Just spend anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes a day seeing what's going on in the marketplace. Now, why are we doing this? We want to know what people are selling properties for so we can identify comparable properties and know what the numbers actually are. So if you go to Navajo County, Arizona, you know that the whole state is chopped up into these 1.25 acre lots. You want to know what these things are going for on a full retail price, a wholesale price, and a wholesale price. So let's say your full retail price is $2,500. And you see a lot of people listing them for about $2,000, and then a couple of people are listing them for $1,500. You know that your sweet spot's going to be somewhere from $1,500 to $2,000 that you could sell these for fast. Now, we want to get it well below that $1,500 mark to know we're going to go ahead and profit on these deals. So how do we do this? As we're searching the platforms here, deals are going to pop up. It just happens. You're going to see someone list something for 800, 900. Some people are going to have them for 1200. Reach out to people consistently and go for no. Don't be afraid of rejection. Just reach out and say, hey, I saw your listing on XYZ platform. Would you be interested in selling it for blank? And throw a low number at them, 500, 600, 700. They're probably going to say no most of the time. That's okay. If you keep reaching out, you will get someone that says yes.